Hello everyone, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. If you are new to my channel, thank you guys so much for being here, much appreciated. And if you are a regular, thank you so much for tuning in. So I was guided to do this Divine Masculine reading. These are the decks that I was most drawn towards for this particular reading. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what's happening with the Divine Masculine. So this first deck will be focused on perhaps challenges or obstacles that might be creating some issues in your partnership. We'll take a look at a possible solution and then we'll go ahead and grab some messages from your Divine Masculine's higher self. All right, so let's begin, guys. Very important to note that it is a general reading, so only take the parts of it that make sense for you personally and release the parts that don't. All right, here we go. Angels and Spirit Guides, please, for the collective. Focusing on the Divine Masculine. So what are some of the challenges for the collective? What's going on in this connection that might have created an obstacle or a challenge? Okay. Locked out. Whoa. Okay, so now this card says, please let me in. I can't be there for you the way you want me to be if you don't let me in. So maybe Divine Feminine, you know, this is your way of blocking this masculine perhaps from your life. You know, I'm kind of feeling the vibe that some of you guys even shared a home together. You might have actually literally changed the locks on them because something happened here. But this could also be for those of you who might have a masculine who's wanting to reach out or communicate in some way, shape, or form. And for some reason or other, they can't seem to do that right now. So it does say, let's see, I know you've been hurt in the past, but that's not me. I'm here for you to heal that broken heart of yours. Please tear down these walls you've built around us. Let me in. So now Divine Feminine, if you relate to the rest of that message, you know, you could have certainly had your heart broken. Somebody from your past really did a number here. It could have created a tower moment. It could have been very traumatic. And so this could just be you. You know, you've got your walls up and you're not quite sure if you're ready to allow this person fully in. I'm kind of getting that for some of you. But let's go ahead and grab another card here. So we're focusing on the challenges. You might have actually blocked this person, maybe on social media. Maybe you changed your phone number. They are locked out, locked out. We've got healing coming through here. Wow, guys. So this could represent the masculine. This could represent the divine feminine. So it is focused on healing, and it literally says, you hurt me. You shattered my hopes and dreams. You kept me in the shadows, ashamed of our love. You didn't appreciate my love, my time, my generosity, my heart, my presence. I had to work to find myself again, to bring myself towards the light, to heal me. You can't hurt me anymore. So, you know, Divine Feminine, you could be coming through in this reading very loudly to let this masculine know that, you know, they, they really hurt you tremendously and you're still focusing on yourself as you should. But I'm also getting for some of you guys that because you've been hurt in the past, there could be this masculine who really loves you and wants to be a part of your life. But because you've got your walls up, you've got your boundaries up because of past trauma from previous relationships, it makes it very difficult for you to just allow yourself to love, you know, allow your heart to be fully open to somebody else coming in because you've been hurt so much. So let me grab one more here. One more card. Focusing on the divine masculine here. We might also have a masculine who certainly knows what it's like to have had their heart broken too. So if they are unhealed, then that could create patterns that they create in their relationships that causes some sort of, you know, challenge or obstacle or something similar to a tower moment here. We do have fragmentary coming through. So this card says, you and I are pieces to a puzzle that make no sense when we are apart. 
incomplete without all the pieces of who we are together. You are the missing piece of my heart. Without you, the masterpiece of my life will forever remain unfinished. That's pretty intense. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else we can find out here when it comes to this situation. Focusing on the challenges, we see that here. Angels and spirit guides, please. Focusing on the divine masculine for those who are truly in need of guidance here. Okay, so I have a reverse card. It is the Knight of Wands. Very interesting. So this could be maybe a masculine who tended to be kind of reckless with how they conducted themselves, you know. Now, this isn't going to be for everybody, but the reverse Knight of Wands could be a masculine who was abusive towards the feminine, whether that was physical violence or maybe emotional um, trauma. You know, they were abusive in some way, shape, or form here. So, you know, that's a very specific message, but it's coming through for someone here. They could also be very scattered, you know. Maybe they just weren't able to decide what they wanted. And if they were a little bit wishy-washy here, Divine Feminine, you might have decided to just end things. Look at this. We've got the Seven of Swords. So yeah, I mean, it makes sense why perhaps the Feminine could be focusing more so on healing and just staying away from the Masculine at this point in time because they were very manipulative. They could have outright cheated. This could have represented lies that they had allowed to come through in the relationship. You know, they were just being very tricky. So it could have been a third party. This is so interesting. We've got the strength card. I can't help but feel that that's coming through for this message. I can't help but feel for some of you, Divine Feminine, this could be where you're at, you know. And not to say that the, the masculine can't be picking up off of this energy as well. Some of you guys could be Leo, or maybe your masculine is representing the Leo here. I just feel for those that relate to this card specifically, you know, somebody that hurt you, you had so much hope for this connection and they just broke your heart. They really ruined things here. And so what this is telling me is someone coming through in this reading, I'm feeling it for my feminines that it took every ounce of strength in you to just break things off and walk away from your masculine. Now, especially for those of you who might have been in, a, in an abusive relationship, um, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be a physical physical violence or physical abuse, although if that is the case, then it totally is coming through here why you guys might be in separation and why you've got your guard up and why you lock them out, you know? Wow. We do have the masculine showing up as the emperor, though. Now, I'm feeling a couple of different vibes coming through here. Almost like we've got two masculine energies presenting itself here, guys. You know, um, you might be closed off to one person that really hurt you. You know, tower moment type pain. And so this makes it a little bit difficult for you to just open up fully to the possibility of maybe new love coming in. Divine Feminine, if that makes sense. But I am feeling as well, this is coming through also that if you were dealing with a masculine who was incapable of maybe settling down or committing to the partnership, if there were third parties, if they're coming through as the emperor, they, I feel, have done the work on themselves to come forward as a better person. Six of cups. Ooh, nine of cups. Eight of Cups. What I can tell you here, when it comes to the Divine Masculine, if you've ever wondered, Divine Feminine, if, if they even think about you, 100%. I'm also feeling for a Masculine that maybe has been blocked from your life, whether that's a literal interpretation or they just know that it's not a good idea to even reach out to you. 
they're still wishing for this connection. There's something that they're still drawn to when it comes to you. I'm also feeling a masculine that might be maybe drinking a little bit too much. You know, they're just numbing their feelings. They don't want to feel the pain. And it's hurtful. That's just the way it's presenting itself here. And they think about the memories. Some of those memories were amazing and beautiful, but some of those memories were painful and hurtful as well. It makes sense for me that we've got the Seven of Wands here. Can't help but feel that that could be my feminines, where, you know, you really aren't on the defensive side here. You've got your guard up. You are... You're a little bit apprehensive, I feel. You know, this is you standing up for yourself. Let's see what else here. So this, this is a bit of a challenging situation here. You probably did walk away from the masculine here, Divine Feminine, if you relate to this. And they do think about you. They want to possibly talk to you about a reconciliation, but I'm not sure if that's possible for all of you. But they, they do want to offer another opportunity to at least consider coming back together. You know, I'm just feeling for some of my feminines, if this is related to a masculine who hurt you in the past, whether it was cheating or whether it was some sort of abusive behavior, you're not interested. I'm just picking that up very clearly. For those of you that had that situation happen, you're not interested. However, there's also this scenario of new love that wants to come in. So there is this need to perhaps focus on healing parts of you that might be a little bit apprehensive to allow new love to come in because it's there. It absolutely is there. And it makes sense for me that we've got the Two of Swords that is followed by the Hangman, followed by the Six of Swords. Oh my God. And then we've got the Nine of Wands. So what is this telling us? First of all, there's one situation here. There is a connection that is no longer moving. It's so stagnant at this point that it's it's truly decayed. You know, it's done. And I feel, Divine Feminine, if you relate to this, you made that decision to, to end things or you made sure that you put yourself on a very different path where you can find yourself once again, where you can focus on healing parts of you that really need it. I feel for my feminines, this is somebody that you had to break free from. You've let them go. You've walked away. You know, this is a chapter of your life that is now closed. But what this is telling you as well is that even though this was a part of your life, it doesn't have to be focused on that only, you know, because there's better that wants to come in for you, you know. And then, of course, the Nine of Wands is also representing the fact that you've been hurt. You've got your boundaries up and you're leaving it behind, which if you haven't gotten to this part of the scenario for your life, this is something that needs to be worked on in order to perhaps open up a brand new door for you to welcome new love to come in. So I'm feeling two masculine energies with that one. I don't know who that, who that is for, but that is the way it's presenting itself here. Okay, so some challenges there for sure. That's what we were focused on for that portion. And so now let's go ahead and take a look at solutions here. But at this point, it might not even really represent a solution. I feel it could represent more so a new beginning for my feminines here. I don't know. Maybe that's why I was guided to do this reading here today. Because there's a masculine that's a part of the past that needs to stay in the past. And there is a masculine that's either already coming in or is not able to come in because you are still working on healing. And that's okay. You know, you got to honor what it is that you're feeling in your heart. All right, let's just see. Let's see what comes through here. It might still have something to do with a past connection, but it could also bring forward love that is on its way to you if it hasn't already found you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at these cards. We've got disconnection. That is followed by the past. 
So if you are relating to this divine feminine, it clearly is telling me that you've broken free from somebody from your past. You know, yes, it was a moment in time. Yes, it represents a part of your history. You know, those are old memories and you're really wanting to create new memories, perhaps with someone else, you know, disengaged, emotionally detached. Whoa. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what else. Yeah, look at this. Life is just wanting to take you down a very different path here. A clean slate. It's a new chapter. It's time to move on from the past. Oh my goodness. Okay, what else? Look at this. No doubt, it's speaking to you, Divine Feminine. It really is. Look at this. We've got the future. Moving on. Predictions. Delayed plans. Part of the reason for that delay might be because you still need time to heal. Divine Feminine. So even though this is a reading focused on a Divine Masculine, it clearly is telling us that the past needs to remain exactly where it is. The past. Give yourself the opportunity to start fresh. And that doesn't mean dive right into another relationship. It just means focusing on yourself, what it is that you want, what it is that you will allow into your life, and what it is that you will not allow into your life. Oh my goodness. Two cards, literally. It says moving on, moving on. So let's go ahead and clarify this. That's pretty intense. You had to disconnect from one person in order to have a fresh start in love with somebody else. But if you're not ready for that, that's okay. Look at that. Ace of Swords. Yes, my feminine's thinking a lot clearer, knowing exactly what it is that you want. And there's somebody here who's not meant to be a part of your future. This is a past love who might want to return, but... I feel that door is closed. I love that we have the magician coming through because this is now giving you the opportunity to manifest the right kind of love. You know, it's like moving on from the past, welcoming, welcoming in this new energy of what love could actually represent in the future. It makes sense to me. Look at this seven of wands followed by the Eight of Cups. Mm -hmm. That's you, Divine Feminine. You know, this is you protecting your heart space and you needed to walk away from somebody. That's a chapter of your life. It's done. Look at this, Ace of Pentacles. You really are on this trajectory towards manifestation of something and someone better. Yes. Look at that. The Emperor. Okay, look at the next card. Look, Two of Swords, followed by the Five of Cups, followed by the Page of Wands. I really do feel the Emperor here represents a masculine who might be on their way to you, Divine Feminine. Okay, but in the meantime, focus on loving yourself. Focus on filling your cup for yourself. It starts with self-love in order to welcome in the right kind of love. And, you know, if it hasn't come into your life just yet, if you haven't met anybody that represents this emperor, I feel this could represent a new chapter because with the Two of Swords represented, there's a situation from the past that is no longer moving. And, you know, they could certainly have a lot of regrets. Maybe they see you as somebody that they would like to try again, but I feel that that door has closed. You know, you gave them their freedom and maybe at this point, they don't want their freedom. They want to be with you, you know? It's like giving somebody exactly what they wanted, but it turns out that that's not what they wanted after all. Just kind of getting that for this person. Yeah, look at this. The Fool and the Six of Wands. I feel with a new beginning, especially for my feminines, representing the energy that I, I'm really feeling very strongly here. And we do see the Divine Feminine card right there. Okay, so I'm just getting here that there really is this fresh start. It's like a breath of fresh air coming in for the Divine Feminine. 
So give love a chance. I feel your next connection might just be your love of a lifetime. And look at the next card. You've got the sun. So you've already been through something pretty intense and challenging with a past love. I feel for this message, you're not being directed to accept someone back that you already let go of from the past. This is now giving you a fresh start in love, in life. That's amazing. All right, well, I was going to pull some messages from a divine masculine's higher self. I was not expecting this reading to go in this direction. So whoever is watching, I'm telling you guys, I was just going to focus on a divine masculine you know, specifically those who are going through challenges, those who are in separation with the possibility maybe of finding your way back to each other if it really is meant to be. But this one brought forward a couple of masculine energies. One is kind of playing the, uh, what's the word? It's almost like opposing energies. One's good, one's bad, you know? So somebody needed to be closed off from being a part of your life from being a part of your future. So I don't know what messages are going to come through now, but that's what we're going to do. Okay, so hidden secrets of the divine masculine's heart. This could be the ex-partner that has been locked out, that has been blocked from your life. Let's see. It could also represent a masculine who wants to come in that could represent you know, somebody that you have feelings for, but you could be a little bit closed off to it because you're still either traumatized or still healing from whatever happened with somebody else. Okay, so let's grab some words. I'm being guided to pull six cards. Okay, let's see. This is the first one. I couldn't think of what to say the last time I saw you. How I regret not telling you how much you mean to me. So somebody didn't open up and now they regret it. Wow. Okay. Five more cards. You are the missing piece of my heart. How I yearn for you to return to me. One second. Remember when this came through, guys. So it says you and I are pieces to a puzzle that make no sense when we are apart. You are the missing piece of my heart. You are the missing piece of my heart. It says the same thing. So this is a masculine that clearly they're not with you. They yearn to be with you. They, they yearn to return. They have so many regrets. All right, four more. I've been in other relationships, but none of them touched my heart the way you did. I miss you. So those other relationships might have had something to do with third party involvement. Or, you know, maybe they ended things, Divine Feminine, because they felt more compelled to go after that connection. They were drawn to that relationship. So, I mean, there's so many reasons as to why you guys have severed ties with this masculine. But yeah, I ended up getting two different masculine energies. And the only way I can really describe it is one good, one bad. But you don't want to be so closed off that somebody who actually is a good person can come into your life. All right, let's see. Are you okay with us being so far away from one another? So they really are questioning the distance and the time apart. But, you know, just based off of what, I've, what I have seen in the reading is that I feel for my feminines that relate to this, you are okay with it. You're okay with the distance because they really hurt you. 
and they contributed to why you guys are not together. Let's grab two more. I'm your person, your mind, let's try again. So this is a masculine that truly believes that you guys belong together, okay? Like you're their perfect match. Now this could represent a divine masculine who might actually be a good person, but you're not letting them in fully, possibly because you're afraid that you're going to get hurt again, or again, you're not done fully healing from past trauma, from past relationships, Something's blocking this masculine from coming in. All right, one more. I've lost all hope that we'll ever be able to work it out. Mm -hmm. I can't help but feel that that's the masculine from your past who might have been abusive or could have cheated on you really hurt you and i feel that's a chapter of your life divine feminine that you probably close the door lock the door and throw away the key that type of energy so let's clarify this so whichever one you're most drawn to when it comes to your masculine let's see wow look again we've got the emperor so lots of divine masculine vibes coming through from the emperor of course so for those of you who are interested in wanting to reconnect with a masculine that you are currently not with i feel that we have a masculine who will do just that they're going to take some sort of action to communicate to let you know that they want to return And it continues, I'm still feeling two different masculine energies, guys. I don't know what's up with that. So, you know, this for me represents a good person, a good masculine that's ready to come in and do something about the separation and to prove to you, Divine Feminine, that you guys belong together. This right here for me represents a past love who's got so many regrets that possibly, you know, wants to return, but they also know that the jig is up, you know, that door is closed and they've missed the chance to be with you. Mm hmm. Look at the next card here. Five of Pentacles. Somebody has clearly been struggling through the breakup and the separation, you know, left out in the cold with the Five of Pentacles. That could be this past love right here. I feel the right person, the right masculine who really is meant to love you and treat you right, Divine Feminine, you will know this, okay? You've got the Ace of Pentacles, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel when it comes to your love life, things are about to shift and change, like really change for the better. Before the end of this year, I really feel the direction that your love life is going to take is a whole lot better than the direction that you were going before or the journey that you've had with somebody that disappointed you, somebody that broke your heart, somebody that really hurt you. Life is wanting to take you on a very different journey here. And I feel if the emperor represents a masculine that loves you and a masculine perhaps that you love as well, but maybe you've been keeping them at an arm's length for whatever reason, they're coming through to let you know that whatever it is that they're bringing to the table, it's solid. You know, it's a solid offer of their love, of their heart, of their time, of their affection, their dedication, their devotion, their commitment. It's all good, you know, so give yourself a chance at love here with the right person, because I feel as long as you trust your gut instincts, you know that if you had to let somebody go and they're a part of your past, even if they do resurface and want to get back together with you, you're too healed at that point. You're, you've gone through their, your awakening and you're not going to open that door up again, you know? And I feel this makes sense. Six of Swords, you are moving on. You're moving forward. You're not interested in reconnecting with the past. You know, this is a part of your journey. 
and you really are on a very different path. So much better than where you've been. Yep. Look at the next card here, guys. You've walked away, you've moved on, you've left it behind, and you're good. You're good with where you're at. This is the path that you are meant to follow now, Six of Wands. You know what it is that you want. You recognize what it is that you need to do. And by doing so, life is about to change. Your love life is about to surprise you, I feel, big time. And uh, you're going to be a lot happier with the direction that you're going to be taking when it comes to this divine masculine that really is deserving of your heart. Okay, so give yourself a chance to love again if you relate to this. The past remains where it belongs in the past. All right, guys, so that is what I've got. That took some different turns that I was not expecting it to go in that direction. But that's what I got from this one. So hopefully, if you are able to relate to the messages here, um, that it helped you somehow, that it helped heal your heart in some way, shape, or form, that perhaps it offered you guidance that you really needed at this point in time. All right, guys, so that is what I've got. If you are interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And of course, I'll go ahead and link all of the decks that you see here. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,